Hello everyone and welcome to the summer episode of Come Out and Play. I'm your host Angie Hall. Buncombe County Parks, Greenways and Recreation Services Department has a lot of fun for the whole family this summer. One of the most exciting is the opening of our outdoor pools and swimming lessons. Memorial Day weekend, all of our outdoor pools will be open for the weekend. And starting Saturday, June 2nd, the pools will open daily. Monday through Friday, the hours are noon until 545, Saturday from 11 to 645, and Sunday from 1 to 645. Daily admission is only $3 per visit, but discount passes are available at all pools. A 10 visit pass is $20, and a 25 visit pass is only $40. Super Sunday specials are happening again every Sunday. So for those that meet the criteria for that particular day, they will be admitted in free between 1 and 2 o'clock. For example, on Mother's Day, all mothers will be admitted in free. Check with your pool to see what the special is for each Sunday. Two sessions of swim lessons will be offered at all our outdoor pools. The first session will be June 18th through the 28th with registration beginning at noon on June 11th. The second session will be July 16th through the 26th with registration beginning at noon on July 9th. Classes will be Monday through Thursday at the following times. 11 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. will be for levels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 11 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. will be for 3 and 4 year olds. And 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. for levels 1, 2, and 3. The cost for each session is $30 per person and you must register at the specific pool you will be attending. There's a pool in each of the school districts, Owen, Irwin, North Buncombe, Cane Creek in Fairview, and Hominy Valley in Inca. For more information, you can contact Terry Gentile at 828-684-5072 or you can contact the pool directly. Accidental injuries are the number one killer in children ages 14 and under, and 90% of those injuries can be prevented. Buncombe County Parks will be holding an event for Kids Safe Summer at all the Buncombe County outdoor pools. This is from June 11th through June 15th. Mission Hospital's Safe Kids WNC will be there to feature summer safety information, water safety, sunscreen use, and bicycle and pedestrian safety. The local fire departments will be on hand to answer questions about fire safety at home and outdoors. Buncombe County Sheriff's Office will have kid ID kits available along with kid-friendly handouts. So bring the family out for an afternoon of fun, arts and crafts, some good safety tips, and a lot of swimming. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. Stay with us. I'm Emmett Carney, Buncombe County Democratic Chairman. The right to vote is our most sacred franchise. 
Your participation in our democracy is what makes this the best country in the world. Therefore, it is a citizen's obligation, in my opinion, to register and vote, and consider voting early. Welcome back to our summer episode of Come Out and Play. Well, summer means I scream, you scream, we all scream for Greenways, or is it ice cream? Well, I think it's both. Ultimate Ice Cream Company launched an I Scream for Greenways ice cream campaign in support for Connect Buncombe's Greenways Please initiative. Each month, one ice cream at Ultimate Ice Cream will be tagged as Ice Cream for Greenways to help raise awareness of the need for Greenways connecting Buncombe County. This past March, they donated 100% of profits of their flavor, the Trail Ice Cream. That amounted to $257 to Connect Buncombe's countywide Greenway System initiative. Connect Buncombe aims to connect our county with greenways and trails to increase transportation options, physical activity opportunities, increased health benefits, and community and economic development. Well, now that it's officially spring, that means warm weather and outdoor fun. Here at Lake Julian, you'll find just that for the entire family. Lake Julian Park is a peaceful oasis located in Arden on the banks of Lake Julian. You can enjoy the water with many water activities and those landlubbers can enjoy games of volleyball and horseshoe or fishing from shore. So come out and rent a paddle boat or canoe for just $5 for 30 minutes and $8 for an hour. John boats are available for $10 for half a day and $20 for an entire day. Gasoline motors are not allowed, so you must bring your own electric motor for the John boats. And if you prefer, for $5, you can bring your own boat, kayak, canoe, or sail. Fishing is great because the warm waters of the lake are home to many species of fish, including catfish, bass, and even exotic tilapia. Fishing license and a $3 Lake Julian fishing permit is required for all fishermen over the age of 15. The fishing permit is available at the ranger station. Fishing is permitted from the water and from the shores or piers. Remember to pack a picnic. There are plenty of picnic tables and grills throughout the park and free to use on a first come first serve basis. There are several shelters scattered throughout the park. The small shelters will accommodate 25 to 35 people and the larger ones will accommodate up to 75 people. Land lovers can enjoy games of sand volleyball and horseshoes. The courts are available on a first come first serve basis for free, but you must bring your own ball. Horseshoes are available at no charge. Lastly, but definitely not least, is this pontoon boat that was generously donated by Progress Energy. Our pontoon captains here offer guided tours of the lake to senior citizens and those with special needs. So if you'd like to take a leisurely ride on the pontoon, rent a paddle boat, or a picnic shelter, give us a call here at Lake Julian at 828-684-0376. Now here's a perfect opportunity to come out and visit Lake Julian Park. We will be putting on our annual 4th of July fireworks show on Wednesday, July 4th. I have here with me David Blimp, park manager here at Lake Julian. Hi David, what can you tell us about the, the events that day? Well, on July 4th this year, we'll have all of our regular activities going on. Uh, we will have uh, picnicking opportunities. People can uh, rent boats, go boating. We'll have fishing. Uh, we have a playground for the kids, volleyball, horseshoes, all kinds of different recreational activities for everybody to do on that day. Our fireworks, we anticipate, will probably go off about 9.30 that evening. And David, is there anything visitors into the park that day would need to know about parking? 
on July 4th, we do not allow cars to drive into the park. Uh, if you have a handicap sticker or you're launching a boat, we will allow you to come in. But other than that, we'll be running a shuttle service from Estes Elementary School. So people can park at Estes Elementary School and be shuttled down into the park that day. All right. We'll head out early, pack a picnic, and plan to spend the day with us and enjoy a great fireworks show. The 6th Annual Model Airplane Show will be held Saturday, July 14th. So all you model airplane enthusiasts, come out and join the Asheville Buncombe Aero Modelers Flying Club. This free event will be held at the Buncombe County Sports Park from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The club will put on an air show and display many of their models. Pilots fly various types of aircraft ranging from small electric to gasoline-powered 33% size airplanes. Many of the members are master aircraft builders and have built their own model airplanes from balsa wood and plywood. The club collectively has hundreds of years of flying and building experience. Free flight and control line pilots are represented at this show. Bring the family, pack a picnic lunch, lawn chairs, and don't forget the sunscreen. It's a fabulous day of high flying fun. The Buncombe County Sports Park is located in Candler behind Sand Hill Venable Elementary School. Well, it's time to take another break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about what's happening in Black Mountain Recreation and Parks. So stay with us. Hello, I'm Henry Mitchell, Chairman of the Buncombe County Republican Party. I like to encourage you to get involved in the process, get out and vote, vote early, and let's make a difference together. I'm Emmett Carney, Buncombe County Democratic Chairman. The right to vote is our most sacred franchise. Your participation in our democracy is what makes this the best country in the world. Therefore, it is a citizen's obligation, in my opinion, to register and vote, and consider voting early.
Welcome back. Now it's time to hear what's happening in Black Mountain. Here's Renee Mastrangelo with Black Mountain Recreation and Parks to tell us about their exciting events and programs. Hi everybody, I'm Renee. Black Mountain has lots of fun in store for the whole family this summer. The most exciting thing for the kids is the Black Mountain Pool, which will be opening Memorial Day weekend. The pool is located on 401 Laurel Circle Drive next to Lake Tomahawk. Pool hours are Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 1 to 6 p.m. For those of you that enjoy lap swimming, the pool opens just for you at 10 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Swimming lessons will be available during the summer too. Cost to swim daily is $3.00. But if you or your children plan to go on a regular basis, then you may want to check out the family season pass for just $100. We also have individual season passes for $65 and a multiple entry pass, which will include 10 entries for $25. The annual Park Rhythm Concert Series will be happening once again this summer at Lake Tomahawk Park. It's the 17th year, so get your picnic basket and your family ready to come on down and join us for some music in the park. The concerts are held every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. starting June 21st and going through August 9th. Food will be provided on site from local restaurants. Bands this year include The Honeycutters, Bayou Diesel, The Business, Shannon Woodworth, Woody Pines, and other talented bands. These concerts are free, but donations are welcome. For this year's lineup, check out Black Mountain Recreation and Parks website at bmrecreation.com or you can give me a call at 669-8610 or email me at renee.mastrangelo at townofblackmountain.org. I'm Henry Mitchell, chairman of the Buncombe County Republican Party. And I'm Emmett Carney, chairman of the Buncombe County Democratic Party. We don't agree on much, but we do agree. You need to get registered and we need you to vote. baseball lovers out there, Black Mountain Recreation and Parks will be taking a Van Clan trip to Atlanta to see the Braves play the Phillies on May 3rd. The game starts at noon, so the van will depart from Black Mountain at 7 a.m., and arrival time back home will be around 9 or 10 p.m. that night. Registration deadline is April 30th, and the cost is $40. And if you miss it on this trip, don't worry, just check out our website bmrecreation.com for all the trips coming up this summer. With spring comes unpredictable weather. Did you know that the town of Black Mountain has an emergency alert program called Code Red? This system will alert you of an in-town emergency or weather emergency by telephone. But in order to receive these alerts, you need to register with the system. There are several ways that you can do that. One is to visit townofblackmountain.org and click on the words Code Red on the left hand side of the page. There you will have information about the alert program and the form to submit online. If you don't have access to the internet, you can stop by Town Hall or the Lakeview Senior Center and pick one up. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me at 669-8610 and remember, you will only be contacted in the event of a true emergency. Every May, senior citizens from all over Buncombe County come together for friendly competition in senior games. This year's theme is Forever Young. Asheville Buncombe Senior Games is open to individuals who reside in Buncombe County for a minimum of three months during the past year and who are 55 years of age or older. Participants compete in a variety of events such as billiards, horseshoes, shuffleboard, swimming, basketball, and track and field events, just to name a few. Events will take place from May 12th through May 22nd throughout the Buncombe County area. For more information, please give Dee Black with the City of Asheville Parks and Recreation a call at 
or email her at dblack at ashevillenc.gov. and Parks strives to create fun, enjoyable, and educational programs at the Lakeview Senior Center. We've created a short 11-question survey in order to better serve the community and their needs in programming. If you'd like to help us out by filling out this survey, all you need to do is go to our website, bmrecreation.com, and take a few minutes to fill that survey out. If you have suggestions on other programs, new classes, or anything else, now's your time to to include that information in the survey. Once again this year, the Town of Black Mountain will be celebrating the 4th of July with our annual street dance. The street dance will happen on the 4th in downtown Black Mountain, located on Sutton Avenue. The event will run from 5 until 9 p.m. with the fireworks starting at dark. The event will include live music, a fun zone for the kids, food, arts and crafts, and lots of entertainment. So, bring your family, it's a free event. Bring a lawn chair and stick around for the fireworks following. As you can see, I'm located here at beautiful Lake Tomahawk in the heart of Black Mountain. Lake Tomahawk is a great spot for the whole family to hang out. There's a half mile walking trail. We have a public lake for fishing. We ask that you only use natural bait. There's a wonderful playground for the kids. There's the senior center here. We have a picnic shed that's available for rental during um, the nicer months. And also we have all these beautiful waterfowl. We just ask to remind the public that when you come out to Lake Tomahawk to enjoy all the things that are here, that you please do not feed any of the ducks or the birds that are here. They are natural animals and they do find their own food and when we feed them, it creates a reliance on the public for their food. And then the, the birds do not migrate and that creates a problem. So we ask when you come out to enjoy our tennis courts and to come out for your, your jog and bring the kids, that you just do that. You enjoy it and you take pictures, but you just don't feed the birds. If you have any questions about that, feel free to give us a call at the Recreation Department at 669-2052. Here at the Lakeview Senior Center, we have programs year-round. Included in those programs are trips, classes, exercise classes, games, we have it all. The Lakeview Senior Center offers a variety of great classes that include everything from guest speakers, exercise classes, support groups, and nutrition related programming including simple solutions to eat smart and move more.
This class is designed to teach participants how to prepare quick, low-cost meals, eat more fruits and vegetables, increase their physical activity, and be more helpful overall. Participants in this program will receive kitchen tools that they can take home and use with them. If you complete all five classes, you receive a great cookbook. That wraps up this edition of Come Out and Play. We hope you'll come out and take advantage of these and the other great programs offered by Buncombe County Parks, Greenways and Recreation, and Black Mountain Recreation and Parks. For other great programs, visit us at buncombecounty.org slash parks and bmrecreation.com. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope that you will come out and play.